Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? I hope all is well. So today's video is geared towards all my polish lovers. Um, so you guys, please follow me on Instagram because I did go live on Instagram not that long ago showing you guys all the polishes that I wore for spring of 2021. So if you're interested in all of the polishes that I wore, please follow me on Instagram. I'll put it down below so that way you guys can follow, all right? But anyway, this is about my summer rack. Now this is what I'm working with right now. Um, I tend to buy, of course, and sometimes slip in a polish here and there, depending on how I feel. But for the most part, this is my polish um, spring um, picks right here. And I'm going to go through each of them for you guys. But before I do, I want to show you guys what is on my nails right now. Right now, I have this gorgeous Morgan Taylor Shock Therapy and it's a gorgeous berry um as you can see it dries a bit darker it is a very gorgeous berry color <clears throat> excuse me y'all and i paired it with um la go la girl color pop manic there we go and it's a topper and this is one of my favorite toppers to wear <clears throat> I think it's so gorgeous. It has all these different hex glitters from light pink to dark pink, white, black, and then there's black and white dot glitters. Oh my gosh, so pretty. <clears throat> so I put that on this finger, as you can see, and then I put it on this finger. So what do you guys think? I'm trying, I did a stiletto nail to see if I even like stiletto nails because I've never liked them. But y'all, over the last maybe year or so, I've been kind of like looking more at stiletto nails. I had never tried it until now. And I think I like it. Is this a stiletto or is this an almond? Because I really try to do an, a stiletto nail. So anyway, you guys, you guys let me know. But anyway, that's what I'm wearing on the nails as of now. So let's go ahead and get into it because it is kind of long. Let's start up here with some brights, you guys. So we have some Salon Perfect in the shade Mermaid of Money. Y'all love this polish. Just, it's so gorgeous. It's a really, really saturated um, teal. It's just really gorgeous love this one and it's from their neon pop line which i think you can still pick up i think it's still in the stores over at walmart all right so another salon perfect and this one's traffic cone this is my go-to orange neon i know a lot of people love um what is that one by uh i have it up there and i'm looking at it um melt your popsicle no, it's no, it's not by. Um, that's not. Um, I have nail polishes literally going all the way up to my ceiling. But anyway, you guys know Melcher Popsicle. Is it by Orly, or is it by China Glaze? I can't remember. But either way it goes. This one. Oh my God! It's by Orly, y'all. It's right here. Anyway, this is my go-to if I want an orange neon. The formula is amazing. It is almost, it, it's close to a one coater. I don't know if it's because mine's gotten thick, but if you're looking for a beautiful orange, I would try this. All right, we have another Salon Perfect, and this one's by the Neon Pop line, and this one is Copa Cabana Girl. And this is like a neon. What is that color that I keep saying that I'm not into? Um, like a peachy type of color, a corally color, but a neon version of it. Oh my God, stay up there. So that's what this reminds me of. I love this. I mean, it is, the whole neon pop line by Salon Perfect is great if you can get your hands on it. Yes, I would do. 
so that's that and then we have an orally and this is that melcher popsicle now it is so bright yes it is very bright but the only problem with melcher popsicle is man you have to i mean okay you have to put a white undie in order for you to get this color um these two colors are quite different this one's more orangey this one's more leaning towards is it the red side i don't know um so this is more yellowy i would say orange and this one's more reddish under girl y'all okay i've been doing nails and, and polishes for a while and i still can't manage to get the colors right but anyway yeah these are very different but this is my go-to love this one still but like i said you have to put an undie a white undie to get that true color so that's Melcher Popsicle by Orly. And I have another Orly. And this one is Vava Voom. I love this hot pop of pink. Great for summer. Beautiful on the toes. You guys can see how bright that is. Orly, they, I mean, to me personally, back in the day, I mean, I never really paid it too much attention to Orly. But now, I mean, I'm not going to say now, but within the last few years, y'all, or at least kind of where it's at. Look how big these bottles are. They are so big. How many milliliters? Um, it is 18 milliliters. They are the biggest nail polish bottle. And their nail polishes go average, what is it, $9 a bottle, $9.50 or something like that. Y'all can't, y'all can't get a better um, deal orally. All right, so let's move on. We've got a Cadillacer. This one is Parade. Definitely wore this last year, but um, y'all, this jelly finish with these blue um, hex glitters and dot blue glitters. It's it's such a crazy um, combination, but it goes so well. You know what I mean? And this is from uh, a polished pickup. So unfortunately, unless they bring this back through Rewind, um, you can't get it. But yeah. All right. So this is my only Emily Damali. And I know a lot of people love um, Emily Damali, but um, never got into her polishes. This is just a new one and I still haven't worn it. So I need to make sure I wear it. This one's Balancing Act. And it is also a polish pickup. And it's in this purpley, muted grayish base with these bright hex red glitters and circle dot glitters. Oh my gosh, it is so, I don't know why I haven't worn you. But anyway, I'm gonna wear her this summer. So yeah, that one's Balancing Act by Emily Damali. Next is J. Rain, Temple of Temptation. I want to say this was a good hype last summer. Was it last summer or was it 2019, y'all? I can't remember. Let me see on this. 2020, so it was last year. I got it on Rewind. Yep, July last year. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Obviously, I didn't get it when they first launched, so I made sure I got it during Rewind. And Rewind, for those that don't know with Polish Pickup, it's when they bring back all of their hype, most sought after nail polishes in the past. They're able to bring it back just for that month of July. And this was one of them. And whew, this was glowy. I loved it. Gotta wear it again. It's gotta be kind of like a staple. All right, so y'all, I don't own but two yellow nail polishes, literally, in my whole collection. Oh, wait, hold on. I have another one. Like true yellow I'm talking about. So I literally have three. That's bad. So I kind of want to wear this yellow because I feel like I need to get into other, poly other colors out of my comfort zone, I'll say. So this one's by Sally Hansen and this one is Yellow Mellow. Y'all, I might have worn this. I don't know. But it is a, it's just... A sun flower looking yellow I mean there's nothing spectacular but you know me I'm probably gonna end up putting something in it <clears throat> all right so let's move on to Zoya Zoya had a really cool summer I think it was summer 
summer line that just launched not long ago their neons because y'all know they don't do neons um and i bought the whole collection this is one of them yeah this is one of them and this one's echo now what you're seeing is not exactly what it is i mean what you're seeing is not like the blue that I would wear. I mean, like, I would wear that blue, which y'all seeing, but this blue, what I'm seeing, oh, let me see if I can. Let me turn. Mm, nah, nah. Either way it goes, this is a gorgeous, it's kind of bright in a way to be a blue. So I'm excited to wear this one, and it's Echo. Next, Zoya is my favorite, Jordan. I love this. This is a staple in my collection every summer. No, actually year round, whenever I just feel like I need a palette cleanse. I'm tired of all the loud colors. I just need something on the nail. I always go for this. This is my favorite soft pink. Um, personally, if I get any um, lighter than this pink, it's hideous on me. Um, I always say, and I always show you guys, whenever I show you Jordan, I always show you this ugly dot by, by Zoya. This is the worst formula. That's one of the worst formulas that Zoya has, um, done. Um, and it's so pale. Like this one's more like a peachy pink and this one's more of a bubblegummy or soft pink, I would say. So, um... Yeah, if I whenever I wear this, I hate the way I look. I mean, my hands look, they just look dirty. But this, mm, I love this one. Bye. This one's Jordan. And you can still pick that one up. All right, this one is by Polish. And this one's Puppet Maker. Um, Honestly, I think I only wore this one time. And I think that was in 2019. And I love the way it looked. It just remind me of fresh cut grass. Like it's so pretty, y'all. It's a really gorgeous green. Really gorgeous green. Probably gonna wear it for the month of my birthday month in October. Uh, keep saying October. I think I wish my birthday was in October since I love Halloween so much. But no, it's in August. And um, you know, my gemstone is paired. Peridot, Peridot, where, however you want to pronounce it. But anyway, I think this is gorgeous. So, Puppet Maker. And we've got a tonic in here. This one's Glowy Joe. I think I bought this in 2019. Oh, man, it's so glowy. It is exactly what... This, this is so pretty. And... You know, Tonic did like a pink one, which I have up there. It's actually it's called Passion Fruit, and it is gorgeous as well. But I definitely want to wear this one because the Passion, the pink one, is very close to the J, J Rain one. So I'm not going to use that one this year. I want to wear, you know, that one. But anyway, I've got Glowy Joe. All right. I don't know why Tonic other oh, tonics there okay so y'all know this is my all-time favorite polish never oh my gosh i absolutely love this polish and this is light alera i've done so many reviews on this i've done swatches compared and all that stuff um here on my channel and this is my favorite polish this probably will be my birthday nail um this year in august love this color oh my god it just it glows, you guys. It glows. And I think Tonic took this off their website. But your girl got another one. I literally went crazy a couple months, a few months back. No, it was actually last year, let's be honest. Um, and I bought two or three of them. And I literally just gifted um, one of them because somebody wanted to see how it worked for them. And I'll reveal that in a, a video later on. But anyway, um, yeah. So my favorite, Light Alera. All right, so, oh my gosh, y'all. Come on, stop it, damn. Okay, so this is by Morgan Taylor and I got this one because it was on clearance for $2.39. And, and, 
y'all what is up with me in these like corally like colors because this is like a dark coral in a way like a pop of coral and this one is pink flamingo flam ingo cute anyway oh my gosh i must be feeling these colors this year so i'm gonna take advantage of it and i'm gonna go with it and yeah isn't that pretty so yeah all right so i have um two nine zero lacquers i'm gonna grab both of them and this was both of them are from the smoothie bar collection so there's more of them but i'm not really wanting to wear those this summer these are the two I want to wear. So this one is Pineapple Punch and it's a highlighter yellow with black shards of glitter. This is a staple. Ever since I started collecting indie polishes, I have been um, wearing this every summer and I love it. So that's Pineapple Punch. And then the pink one is Watermelon Juice and oh. Uh, Y'all, I wish her bottles were a bit bigger because I know um, I'm going to give myself maybe uh, two more years and, and it's going to be gone. Because I normally wear her the, the smoothie bar collection. If it's not during the spring, then it's during the summer. And y'all, it's probably going to be gone. Because I, I mean, I do nail art or, you know, just little Skittle manicures with the whole line. So anyway, that's watermelon juice. And then we have a KB Shimmer. And I just got this one recently from Polish Pickup. Um, what month are we in? We're in June. So it was May um, of 2021. And this one is Everything is a Banquet. Sorry. Oh, my God. I can't read. But anyway, um, look at this. Oh. Uh, Oh my gosh. Y'all look at this. I don't know. I mean, okay, let me do this. This is just so pretty. It is a dark, but I, from what I remember seeing on the swatch picture, pictures, it was bright. So I think this, um, that bluish green flash that you see is going to be very prominent. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about wearing this one. All right, so I have a few glam polish. I'm just gonna grab them one at a time. This one is Rapunzel, never worn it before. Um, my husband, well, my kids and my husband bought me this um, for Mother's Day this year. And look how trippy this color is. Oh my gosh, don't ask me what you see because I can't tell you what the base is. I don't even know, but I see pink, I see green, I see yellow, I see orange. There's flake silver flakies in this junk. Y'all, I love a polish that looks so trippy on the nails. This polish reminds me, sorry y'all. This polish reminds me of this one in a way. It doesn't have holographic in it. No, there isn't any holographic, holographic in it like this one. But this one is like a trippy polish as well. You see that? And I'm so glad that he they got this one for me because I, I just absolutely love it. All right. So, yeah, this one's Rapunzel. Did I say Rapunzel, y'all? This is Rumpelstiltskin. Sorry. Oh, that's so pretty. I said Rapunzel. Sorry, y'all. All right. We got another glam polish. And it's, it's from the same line as the last one. This one's the Molina. Oh, this pink with that flash of yellow and green. Okay, there we go. There we go. And there's flakies. Y'all know I love flakies. If it was between flakies and glitters, I would have a hard time picking because I love them both. But my heart has always been with flakies. And I think my heart is a bit more with flakies only because it's easier to get off the nail. Y'all. Oh my gosh, having long nails and um, and glitters, they just don't work. Unless you have a peel-off base coat, which I do, but they peel so quick. Like, I do my nails every maybe three days or so, you know what I mean? Now, I do that now because there was times that, you know, I did it differently. But anyway, um, 
that peel off will just start peeling the next day and I'm like no I'm not ready to change my nail my nail color yet so anyway this is Thumbelina all right and the next one is the last one from um that line and it is the princess and the pea oh man look how gorgeous that is look at that flash and this one has shards of flakies in it yeah oh look at that oh gosh you guys i'm just all for glam polish that's one of my favorite favorite lines uh but the only thing that i do not like if glam polish is watching i mean i know i'm a little old you know just off to the side but could you guys get them give us a bigger brush please these brushes are so tiny am i the only one that feels this way like i need a paddle brush ain't nobody saying that we got to have the really fat ones can we have somewhat of a paddle brush because it, it's mm, my nail my nail beds are a bit long and big and it would just be easier so anyway, this is another topper, and this is Fly Me to the Moon by Glam Polish. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this one yet. Honestly, just thinking about it, I kind of want to pair it with this one. And because you guys see that blue in there? Oh, oh my God, this might be my next. I even see purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. So anyway, um, this is Fly Me to the Moon by Glam Polish. All right, last row, y'all. We've got a color club. Yeah, I don't really buy color club. I bought a few, maybe the last few months and have not touched them. So I'm gonna touch this one. So anyway, um, not just touch wear, but anyway, this one's Angel Kiss and this is by the Holographic line. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that looks really pretty. Oh man, that's a really pretty green. And this one, did I say it's Angel Kiss? That's really pretty. All right, moving on. We've got a Penelope Loose. And this one's Opal Dope Duplet. There we go, sorry. Oh man, look at how gorgeous this is. I bought this back in the beginning of January 2021. Have not worn it. It's just been literally every, well, we only had one season well two seasons and it was winter and and spring but i've been having this on my rack and just have not worn it and i really want to wear it because all of these flakies in there mm, y'all know i'm for it all right so we have a dreamland and this one is it's rex maining day i don't know what that's from it was from this um year april 2021 and i don't know i kind of like this but then again y'all i don't know if i'm gonna looking at it now i think i might want to wait until fall i don't know y'all if i don't wear this it's because i'm where i'm waiting until fall because all of a sudden now i'm just getting fall vibes not that i was getting summer vibes from this i mean it could be summer y'all right look at the flash but it definitely is giving me fall vibes. So we'll see about that. Okay, we have a Clotus de Caro. And this one is Not So Cowardly. And this was a polish pickup for April 2021. And it's a acrylic with pink hex, foil pink hex glitters in it. And I think there's a scatter. No, there's no scatter. Is there a scatter holographic? No, it's in a light pink base. It's really pretty. It is really gorgeous, but it's been sitting on my rack. I need to pull it out. I mean, not just pull it out because it's been pulled out. I need to wear you. Okay, so let's move on to Essie. This has been a staple for the last maybe two or three years for me, and this is watermelon by Essie. Oh my gosh, it, it looks very close to my nails right now. Actually, I might need to do a comparison because I think this one does dry a bit darker and it looks like it could be this. But um, yeah, maybe on IG I will do a comparison. We'll see. But anyway, this is Watermelon by Essie. Okay, we have another Essie and this one is 
Tears of Joy. Oh, this is such a really, really pretty um, light. Like, I don't like pastels, y'all, but if I wear a pastel, I have to have some kind of strong shift in it going on or a topper over it. I mean, personally, that's how I like. I'm just not a, a pastel lover. But anyway, um, that this purple, I don't even think it's really coming up. This light, let me see. Okay, so do you guys see that? Yeah. And then do you guys see the shift in there, that bluey green shift? Gorgeous, love this one, one of my favorites. Um, why do I have Orly down here and there's Orly up there? I'm gonna have to fix this. Anyway, this is a staple in mine too. This one's um, Scenic Route. I think this is a staple with a lot of polish lovers. Just look at it. It's a purpley pink. Um, it literally takes two coats to be opaque, even with my nail length. Love it. Um, formula's great. And I cannot say anything bad about this polish because it's gorgeous all right so the next one is the same i fit how i feel about this one this one's vintage i believe uh, yeah vintage by orly and oh my gosh this is i mean it's so so pretty you guys it's this really light um i guess you would say pastel <laughs> Is this considered a pastel? I mean, I know what you guys, but those, I know what you've seen, but those that know this polish, like seen it in real life, is this a pastel? It could pull for a pastel, right? I don't know y'all, but anyway, this is gorgeous. This formula is amazing to this. I think this is like a, a staple or like, you know, stays in their collection with Orly. If you can get it, I definitely would. So this is vintage. All right, and last polish is my only Moonshine Manny um, in the shade Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls. And it is so pretty. And this was a polish pickup too, yeah, from April. My polish pickup from April was pretty dang big, I remember. But anyway, um, it's this really gorgeous blue with this purple shift in there. There's flakies shards of flakies running through it and i haven't worn this and you know there's quite a few um polishes from moonshine manny that i'm that i have been interested in in the past but unfortunately they just never made the cut um and i just took and you know this time i was like you know what i think they were going back into time with music or something what was it y'all or just like the past I can't remember, but when I, when I, I love TLC, the group. So I was like, I have to get this. This, this has to be my first Moonshine Manny. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a, a try. I need to, because it's so pretty. It's so soft. This can be like one of those ones when you're tired of wearing like all the brights or whatever, just a nice cleanse of a palette. And it's pretty. It's really pretty. So I'm hoping that the formula is nice. I don't even think I opened this polish. Oh, thank God. This is what I'm talking about, glam polish. Can we get like a, um, a brush that's like a paddle or just a little bit thicker than what we have? But anyway, um, Moonshine Manny, Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls from Polish Pickup, April 2021. So you guys, this is my um, summer picks. If you guys know me, you know I'll be adding on to this. Um, but you know what? I will say this. Orly has a neon or they came out not long ago with like a neon line. I don't know what it's called, but it has a few polishes that I'm just like eyeballing. And one of them's like, it's a green one. And it's like um, Paradise Jungle or passion i don't know something about the jungle and it's this really really beautiful green i love greens this is a green that i don't think i have in my um collection and yeah i think i need it and there was another one 
I can't remember. But that's the one that I'm like really eyeballing and I need to do it before it's like sold out. So anyway, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed um, me showing you the polishes that I am going to be working on for summer 2021. If you guys have any questions, please put down below. Don't forget to like that really does help me out to know that you guys love these polish um, videos and whatnot. And I shall talk to you guys later.